Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Deck Deck, and today we're playing some more Factory Town. So, in our last episode, I'm fairly sure, or it might have been the episode before, they're all merging together now. We've basically got everything being supplied for the apothecary, everything being supplied for the good supply, uh, good supply, for the uh, gourmet foods, everything for the normal food market. We're even getting a little bit of milk in occasionally. Goods into the. Um, What's it called? The general store are good as well. We've just got one more thing. Excuse me. Two more things uh, to get into here. One being necklaces. One being magic robes. We're not getting any of the books. Oh, I set up off camera. <clears throat> some more minecarts. So we are now bringing the books in as and when they provide them. Which they're doing. Very, very slowly. But they are doing. It's just this that's ridiculously slow. I need more workers. But the big thing that I did off camera while I was waiting, uh, if I come in here, well, actually, you can tell I've built these up a little bit more. And if we go to mana pipes underneath, I've bought a few more lines off from these bottom ones that directly supply these lines, which, as you can see, are so much more full, it's not even funny. And we did actually get a hundred fire rings in like a few minutes once I'd done this. So let's just plonk this up there like that. And then this can get going. Good. And then that can get me the research going. I believe if we come down here and have a look at the school. Yep, that's all going. <clears throat> it's just going to be a little bit of a waiting game. Really, I need to reduce some workers from somewhere so I can get the necklaces in. Well, the necklaces and the uh, the other ones. I'm probably going to need a fourth barn for them. Unless I just, like, make it look messy and get them into these ones. But I don't really want to do that. Excuse me. <clears throat> but yeah. Omni Temple does take a little while to do this. It's fine, though. It's fine. We've got nothing but time. Nothing but time. The Omni Stones are getting there. What we could do while we're waiting is get all of this section and all of this section completely powered up. In fact, it's probably going to make more sense to finish this section off first. Being as though that's what we were doing originally. I did want to redesign this section, but honestly, I'm not going to... Why are the Earth Stones completely backing up? <clears throat> they probably need their own different line coming in there now. Although we are getting the pipe speed upgrade, so yeah, we'll leave it for now. Um, Never considered the fact that this would be covering all of these lines. Well, we're not going to be able to get the stews upgraded then, are we? Um, but yeah, let's come down here and let's get these sorted. So we want fire and earth coming into these two. It's getting a little bit laggy now. I'm actually going to have to do this the other way around. I don't like doing it this way around. but So fire goes there. Earth goes there. I'm breaking all of my patterns. But yeah, this, um, <clears throat> this isn't getting redesigned. I'm just not feeling the big redesign. We're very close to the end, so we're going to need air, air, fire, and earth. Ooh. If I go like that and like that with the air, that'll sort that little conundrum out there. Then we need fire coming up here. Which I can do just there and bring down to there. Earth might be a bit of a problem. Air might be a, uh, Earth might be a lot of a problem. <clears throat> Ooh, it's nasty down this way, isn't it? Yeah, split them like that. We're, we're still not getting a full line of Earth coming down this way, which is kind of ridiculous when you think about it, but... There's so many mines and stuff that use the earth power. 
In fact, they'd probably be using more if this line wasn't completely filled up, but never mind. <clears throat> it looks like the uh, Omni Temple is getting in front of the school. Yeah, you're now not getting enough books. <clears throat> it is pulling them from underneath. But it just doesn't seem to be pulling them all that often. So we just had a few books come out of these ones. Yeah, the occasional book is coming this way. I'd like to ramp this up. <clears throat> you know what? I don't think I'm going to do any more pipes for the red side. Because that is just getting... A nightmare although it's not exactly going to be easy for these ones either <clears throat> just because of how I've done it I could come down the middle and that way but these aren't all going to take the same power supply uh, let's see what we can do it's not the fact that you're running out of wood is it it is the fact that you're running out of wood So it would be earth, air, air, can't do anything there, earth, air, and earth. <clears throat> Let's work on the wood side first. So it was air, then earth, right? So air needs to come down to there. Yep, you can split like that. <clears throat> Air comes all the way down to there. Comes back up this way and goes into that one. I'm sure it's that one. I'd rather wait until a crystal comes down before I do it. Yeah, it's that one. <clears throat> so that's the air one going. Now I need to get earth up here. I'm just going to have to bring it off the end. Earth comes down this one. Yeah. Uh, you go to there, go to there, and steady. Come all the way back up, and I believe it's that one. Yeah, it will be that one, because fire's this one. So that's them two going. <clears throat> you were here, weren't you? Yeah, you're here. Here's easy enough to do, because I can go straight up this way loop you in there, come down this way, and it's that one right there, is it not? Second from the top. Yeah, right there. Oof. We get so confusing. Yeah, we have done that. <clears throat> that works. Oh, seems like we had a few books come through all at once. So our school kicked up a gear then. You need enchanted books, but have the power. Excuse me. It's probably the water-powered ones that we're getting the most of. Do I really want to be selling these books at the moment? Just cut them there. So I think it's more beneficial at the moment if it's going into the schools. Rather than just being used for coins. We've got loads of coin coming from everywhere else anyway. Uh, right, can I get these last ones in? So it was Earth, Air, Earth, wasn't it? Uh, earth, yeah. Yeah, it was. Um... I could actually cheese it and just go like that for the air one and for the earth one you could come like that go to there and go to there and then you could go to there oh that's messy I'm not a fan of it but <clears throat> Does that work? Uh, 
that needs to split there and it needs to split there and goes around them ways uh, that actually won't work like that it needs to come like that and there and then that should work admittedly it's not going to work very well but it will work Yeah, let's get some more of these connected up. So you're going to be air, you're going to be earth. At least I can do these ones normally. And air will be coming off that line there. Yep. Nope. If I can keep the system the same, I'm going to keep the system the same. Just bring it up to there for now because I don't want to screw it up. And air comes down to that line right there. Earth comes off this one, up to there, up to there, down to there and down to there, and you join up right there. No, there. That's the one. You say don't mess it up now. Don't mess it up now. And I need another splitter right there. I did boost all of those, right? Yeah, I did gonna need the same ones for these as well so they're exactly the same setup you're gonna need earth uh, air and earth I'll be so glad when I've not got to keep saying that we need all earth air earth whatever air comes back down to that I want earth comes up this way goes to there goes to there comes back down this way and joins in there and earth goes right there beautiful see the patterns are good the patterns help things you're not right um because with the patterns everything just falls into place admittedly this is a bit of a mess <laughs> not gonna lie but at least the school's catching up now or should i say caught up because we've actually run out of Research. Oh yeah, you needed another 100. I forgot that it needed 200. Let's just dump this. Where is my grabber? Right there. I'm actually going to get another couple of silos for these. So they are going to start needing like 200 of each. Really, I could just do a barn. But a barn's a little bit more awkward to cram into this slot. Admittedly, I could have barns coming up this way. Which would probably work, but no. I'd rather not. Right, we can bring this back down to our Omni Temple and plonk you down there. And then this should be good to finish all of that off. Uh, right, what else can we get back to doing? Really, I need to cut some workers down from somewhere. It's full on air ether. How about we just, like, spam upgrade you? And spam upgrade you? I've got loads of barns to go back and upgrade. I think I've done most of them over this way. We've, well, we're not running out of elixirs. They're all coming underneath the ground. Very, very slowly. But it's fine. Again, there are only one worker in most of these things. So, uh, yeah, let's check if I did all the barns. I know for a fact I did most of them up to a certain point. Them barns are all done. All done. Again, it does help with the straight lines. Because then I know where I'm up to, generally. Upgrade all of these, upgrade all of these, upgrade all of them. Yeah, I found where I got to now. It was because I was running out of gold coin that this all started stalling out. Definitely got those upgraded because that's where my reinforced planks go. Definitely got those both upgraded. 
uh, you need more upgrades but you're not actually working fast enough to need them, it's fine. Spam upgrade them. The little bit of gold production we've got. Look at all those gold ingots. Lovely. Done all them barns. Done all these barns. Good, good, good. Yep. It's looking like we've got most of it done. I thought they were full crystals then. Obviously both of those barns are done, so that's my Omni Stones. Not done these barns yet, but I've not hooked these barns up yet either. These ones should be done though. I just planned it so that I had loads of mana... Well, space to store more mana stones. Get them all filled out and padded out and whatnot. I think recharging is going to be another one that we go for soon. But honestly, I will start running out of yellow coins at this rate. Yep, that's all of those done. I know for a fact all of these barns aren't done. <clears throat> Adds 20% movement speed to items carried by mana pipes. So, oh, that's a bit quicker. Oh, that's definitely a bit quicker. <clears throat> Uh, right, what do we want to do for our next research? I think I need more people. Uh, housing maximum. Increases maximum housing capacity only by five. But still, five is a lot. So let's get that one on and that one off. I am going to need Omni Stones down here. Um, I've not got a silo set up for this, so we'll use this silo. Because it's only going to need 100. And then what do we need for the actual uh, research? Well, actually, we've already got a 100 research bonus in the Omni Temple, but we might as well keep it going. I've lost my Omni Temple. <clears throat> it's right there. So, I need water... St I need 200 water stones. I might as well have two of these here. Um, let's put these back across here because one of them's from air. 200 water stones. Let's plop them down. There's 100 and 200. Uh, we need <coughs> rails. Which one was making me magic rails? That's Omni Pipes. That's Magic Rails. So I can let that one fill up. And we need necklaces, you goddamn... Goddamn it. I've completely forgot what I needed. <laughs> necklaces, Mana Pipes. I can do Mana Pipes. I've got Mana Pipes for days. They are right there. So we are going to have to get necklaces sorted out. <clears throat> I knew for a fact it would do that. Just knew for a fact. Bring them across. At least I can get this research going. While I get the necklaces built up. <clears throat> <laughs> now if I wanted to speed these up I could actually have three lines coming out I've only just thought about it uh, you can go there right we need to get necklaces made I need to cut some workers back from just somewhere how about over this way you've only got one worker you've only got one worker you've only got one worker one worker one worker oh dear these are the ones that I always look to cut out first. Because these are the ones that just make things that I'm using. And generally, I spend that much time waffling about uh, that they get a chance to massively stockpile. I can't believe every single one of them is one worker. 
Every single one of them. Well, these apparently don't work very well with five. So let's turn it down to three. And you're only one anyway. <clears throat> what does that give me? Nine workers to go with? Oh, it'll be close. <clears throat> what do necklaces even need? Uh, polished stone, iron plates, and earth power. That's actually very simple. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just thinking, because I've got polished stone being made right here. Not that these are ever stalling out, mainly because they're only on one worker each. I know, I shouldn't be turning them up. But my thinking is, I could cheese it and put one right in the middle here. No, I don't want to be doing that. <clears throat> I've got two more things to do. How about I just do them straight up this middle bit, because we're not having any more paths coming either side. So, let's do it across the road from this one. And it's going to go right there and there. So, there's going to be a barn there. An enchanter. Which you're going to be doing the necklaces. <clears throat> then I just need polished stones and iron plates. So, we're going to need... Actually, I'm going to try and save a little bit of room by doing it to the sides instead. Stonemason and Forge. I've gone past both of them. A Stonemason. And a Forge. And a Barn and a Barn. And then I need two Mines. I've got enough workers. Mine and a Mine. Obviously, I'm going to throw down the Earth Shrines. Not that I'm really going to be using them. No, I'm not, because I've not got any Earth Stones. Why are Earth Stones the ones that are proper failing me? Well, they have had to fill up there for a while. I think just turn this off for a bit. I know it's going to halt my Omni Stone production, but screw it. <clears throat> How's the school doing, out of curiosity? Oh. Oh, I never filled it up with Omni Stones. Oh, I'm an idiot. <clears throat> and yeah, it will only take 100 Omni Stones. We can at least get this research done in one sitting. Because we've got all the resources we need. We don't really need you on five, but I am going to leave it on five. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. <clears throat> right, have I got enough for my earth shrines to go in there? I've got enough for one to go in. It's not going to be great. That is all I can do. Eh, screw it. <clears throat> and these are technically too close, but again, eh, screw it. It's not that they're too close, it's just that all the rest of the mines are more spread out, but I could have had them this close instead. Um, you're doing, it's got to be polished stone, yep. Polished stone, you're going to do iron plates. Let's get all the grabbers in. They're not grabbers, they're belts, but you know what I mean. And in you go. In you go. In you go. Grabbers all around. I probably should have got my mines going first. It still looks like all of these are going backwards. They're not. It's an optical illusion. And silo there, please, as well. Admittedly, that doesn't work out as well as I wanted it to, but it'll be fine. 
Uh, let's place and prospect stone. On them ones. You're going to be grabbing stone. You're going to be grabbing iron. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It says that I can grab them from there, but I won't be grabbing them from there. Just fill this one out with stone, so it's got a bit of a buffer. Uh, prospect for iron under this one. All of my coins are going up now. Apart from yellow coin that are plummeting through the floor. <clears throat> That's quite bad, actually. Admittedly, I did, did just spam a load down here, so maybe not. I need to keep an eye on that, really. Yeah, they're going down. They're really going down. I need more iron ore. I can't believe I've not got enough saved up. The hell is happening with my... Uh, Yellow coin. Minus 2,000. It's the school. <laughs> the school's decimating me. Yeah, never never contemplated that it takes a 1,000 yellow coins each. <clears throat> I think I might have just, like, broke everything. Because my yellow coin was always the dodgy ones anyway. It's that recharger cost. There's not a research to reduce recharger cost, is there? Speed, speed, speed. Yep, it's all well and good having speed. Omni upgrade power. Crop yield. Increase the amount of research that I can retrieve when planting crops and trees become fully grown. Eh. Yeah, it's all about the speed in here, isn't it? But saying that, I've probably got way more factories than I need. You probably could have just doubled up on a load of them. <clears throat> An omni pipe stuff everywhere. Yeah, it would be an idea, wouldn't it? That's going to be one of the hardest researchers to do for me. And I think it's one of the only ones that take yellow coin. Air temple recharger speed. Yeah, that's going to be one of the most difficult. And then we run out of yellow coin. And then there's probably going to be loads more problems all the way around the map because of that. I mean, can't you hurry up a little bit? Again, it's because you're not getting enough uh, power coming round. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for this one. Maybe I should have just gone for more... Um, <clears throat> more pipe speed or something. Is the one for speeding up belts? <clears throat> No, there's one for speeding up Omni pipes. Maybe I should have gone with that one and started getting rid of all the normal pipes. Or maybe I should have just gone for pr pr production speed increase. I'm not going for it now, but... Uh, right, is this producing any? No, mainly because it's got, like, no power coming to any bit of it. Let's get these all powered up then. So we've got air and earth. I assume, f oh, fire. Earth and you need earth power. Don't know what I pressed then, but it froze the game a little bit. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that might be a problem. There goes there and there. Good. And then Earth would go. Oh, I actually need Earth in a few different places. <clears throat> Earth would go there. Come on, autosave. Would go there. 
uh, and would go there. I've done that the wrong way around, haven't I? Yep. Cut them off. So that needs to go like that and like that. <clears throat> you need to go like that, like that. And come down there. You need to come like that, like that. Go to there and come down to there. <sighs> Just need fire now. Come into there, and it's going to have to come into there. Where's it all gone? Earth needs to split there, fire needs to split there. <clears throat> I need coal. That's why nothing's happening. Where is my nearest coal line? And by coal, I mean... Fire. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. It's because it's non-existent at the minute. It's that one, is it not? Yeah, that's the forge. So you go into there. And then that can supply that with fuel. And then that's good to go. This will be good to go when it's got the iron in. Oh, we're getting there. Admittedly, the, the lack of yellow coins is still terrifying me. It has only got 19 more to go. Which I guess is a good thing. <clears throat> We've only got one more item to build, to be honest. And we've kind of got this unlimited research set up and in the bag. Um, it's just that we'd need more coins. But honestly, I don't know what else we're going to do to say we've called the game... Uh, to say we're going to call the game finished. Because really, we've got everything being made, bar one thing. I've got most of the entire map flattened off. <clears throat> Bar this giant mountain side. Which I'm hoping to get most of flattened off here. Most of it's just a waiting game now. And there's not much point just sitting and waiting for the sake of getting coins. We could go on to other games and get them sorted. I've got that monstrous hill to sort out as well. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, the game is even lagging on my recording. Trust me, it's worse on my screen. I don't get how it does that, but it's worse on my screen than it is uh, for you guys watching. Yeah, I think we might do one more episode. And I'm going to get the magic cloaks made up. <clears throat> yeah, the necklaces. They're not messing around with them, are they? It's just earth power that they're struggling for. Well, it's not earth power they're struggling for. It's earth power they're struggling to get rid of. Holy Christ. It's become a massive issue everywhere. I mean, this system's flowing as well as it can. You know what I can do. Um, leave a row there in case I want to go for water. bring another line in there. I don't think that intersects through anything that would cause a problem. <clears throat> Force that up that way. Mana stones. Uh, water stones, sorry. I think I needed to turn those off a while ago. Because water stones have backlogged now and kind of filled everything up. How about we, um, for our last act today, open up this barn system as well. Barn system? Recharging system. Admittedly, it all uses more coins, so it is a bad idea in itself. But I let that system run too long. My own doing, obviously. But that doesn't really help anything. Whether it's my fault or not. And 
Yes, yes, yes. Uh, gonna need Omni Pipes. Already set them up. Go me. Uh, you can go down there, down there, and down there, and splitter right there. Um, mana pipe needs to come further down to that one. So it's going to push that way first. Then it's going to go that way. You actually need to be pushing that way before it comes down this way. So this one can run at full capacity for that. <clears throat> that should be alleviating a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's helping loads. Um, is going back in okay. Fire's going in. None of the other ones are backlogging that much. Yeah. Excuse me. I think we're doing fine now. Admittedly, we've got all these earth stones coming from up this way, but that's because this system needs to drain through. It's about there now. Look, this line's nearly completely cleared along there. It's just this line along the bottom that's got to clear out, but that is all going into one barn at the minute. Which may be a problem. What I can do, actually... I can't do it like that. That mana pipe is in the way, and it's been in the way for quite a while. You come up to there. What is the point in this going up? To then go down, just go up like that, and up like that. That's clearly not working how intended. That's better. So I want you to split there. No, I still want you going in the bottom. <clears throat> and then this can just split in whatever order it wants. Yeah, that's better. I think that's working more effectively. This line is mostly cleared out. There's a few gaps coming in it now. But then again, no, there isn't. Because all of these lines are still so, so full. You've got to think, it's got to drain from the end first. And this is the end of the line. It is getting there. I don't know, there seems to be more adding on to the end every time this one wants to click. No, it's fine. It is actually draining through them. My yellow coins are getting absolutely hammered. Absolutely hammered. Well, I don't think we'll be doing any more research with the yellow coins again. I was about to say the game seems loads less laggy, but I was only looking at a small corner of it. So, already full. Not quite full. Full, mostly full. Why is this barn in the middle? Really not getting that many, then. In that case, then, if you're the only one that's not getting filled up, let's force them straight through there first. The only other way would be to expand this even further, but I thought four of these barnfuls would be enough. That means we've got like 4,000 crystals. Oh, there's some proper chunks in the line now. Some proper chunks. All the lines are clearing out. Yep, we're getting back on top of it. Everything's flowing efficiently again. Beautiful. And that is where we'll uh, finish today's episode off. So yeah, probably one more episode. Tomorrow's will probably be the finale. We'll get the magic cloaks up and running. Because I'm not just going to keep doing episode after episode of me doing the unlimited research, because it's unlimited. This series could technically go on forever with me just making things more and more efficient. I mean, don't get me wrong. The way I've made this world isn't the most efficient. I'm well aware of that. We could have ended up like doing just one of certain farms 
and absolutely pouring all of our Omni Stones into it to the point where it just loaded up and, you know, filled everything out. But I like the spaced out approach. I normally go with the spaced out approach. If you watch my Satisfactory or Factorio, I always try and leave more room than I need because you normally learn the hard way that um, if you don't, things are going to backfire. It would have been nice if I could have got all of the entire base into runs like this, but yeah, it's fine. I like it how it is. But yeah, that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more or comments and feedback. Really appreciate it as always. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!